known friends and students myself dr ravi kant patak and i am going to start your class in the last video lecture we have talked about the uh, morphology of the cockroach and i have started just a uh, little bit and uh, we have talked only the little portion of the morphology of cockroach because some technical uh, uh, some technical problems so i have stopped the class and in this video lecture we will discuss the remaining portion of the morphology of cockroach so in the uh, old video lecture we have talked about the only up to the chitinous structure and i had already told so cockroach have the chitin their exoskeleton is made up of the chitin and these they generally provide their proper structure and uh, their uh, resist against the temperature and other functions they generally provide so here we are going to discuss about the next uh, features of the cockroach and cockroach is considered as a dioecious so it is considered as a dioecious okay dioecious means sex separated so male is the another and female is the another so how you will distinguish between male and female you know very well uh, you have already studied in the colleges and uh, classes coaching classes different places so already seen uh, male persons they always show the style style means like bike stunt and they have some fighting like this so here uh, here in case of the cockroach male male person they have also one is a special structure which is known as the anal style and these anal style absent in case of the female cockroach so you should to know male always show style it means here male cockroach also have this anal style and due to this anal styles you have ability to differentiate between male and female cockroach so next one in each segment exoskeleton has the hardened hardened plates called sclerites it have the sclerite sclerite means that is the piece of chitin i had already told there is the exoskeleton exoskeleton is made up of the chitin and these exoskeleton have the different different they break into the different pieces these pieces is known as the sclerites and they are divided into different uh, regions so if the ventral uh, ventral region that is called the sternite dorsal region it's called the tergites and dorsal ventrally or laterally this is called the pleurite okay so these pieces are divided and these are jointed they are jointed with each other they are jointed with each other with a thin flexible articular membrane and this membrane is known as the arthrodial membrane these arthrodial membrane helps in the joining of these pieces these chitinous or sclerites they are the joined by the thin uh, flexible articular membrane and this membrane is known as the arthroidal membrane next one they have in the head is triangular if you say if you see the shape of the cockroach so their shape of the head sorry head of head of the cockroach so it appears like triangle okay and lies entire entirely at right angle right angle means 90 degree you we'll see the body axis so this this is the body longitudinal body axis so it is found in the 90 degree 90 degree 90 degree longitudinal body axis okay and it is formed by the fusion of six segment so their head their head generally formed by the fusion of six segment and it show great mobility in all direction due to the flexible neck we also know our our neck also show the uh, flexibility it can be also rotated and our neck have the a type of joint that is called atlas atlas type of the joints found in our neck so like that similar so similar to the our body so they have also uh, mobility so they have the great mobility they have the great mobility in all direction of uh, due to the flexible neck so they have the flexibility in the neck region it can be also move in every direction okay next they have given the head you will see their head so head capsule bears a pair of compound eye compound eye i had already discussed this is the characteristic feature so characteristic feature of the insect is the presence of compound eye and uh, compound eye is also compound eye is also uh, responsible for the mosaic vision and uh, mosaic vision means less resolution highly sensitivity less resolution highly sensitive this is called the mosaic vision okay 
so here they have uh, wears the uh, uh, wears a pair of compound i and a pair of thread like antennae antennae act as a receptor sensory receptor and from membranous sockets which are generally uh, arise from the membranous sockets lying in front of the eye so in front of the eye they have the membranous socket by which by which this antennae arised and these i have provided with the compound i a pair of compound i if you see so they have the labrum that is the upper lip labium lower lip and mandible act as a jaw and maxilla act as a accessory jaw so these things also found if you see what is the function of antennae so antennae have the sensory receptor antennae have the sensory receptor and that helps in the monitoring environment it helps in the monitoring environment maybe temperature or any senses and takes place so these antenna these antenna helps in the monitoring anterior end of head bears appendages forming biting and chewing type of the mouth parts so cockroach have this type of the mouth parts it have the biting as well as chewing type of the mouth parts the mouth part consisting of a labrum i had already told upper lip a pair of mandible that is the act as a jaw a pair of maxillae which act as a accessory jaw labium which is the lower jaw and here they have a median flexible lobe acting as a hypopharynx which is also known as the tongue so they acting as a tongue and this tongue is also known as the hypopharynx so this is found within the cavity so it means you can say it is found within the cavity in the uh, head region so within the cavity in the enclosed by the mouth parts they have the cavity enclosed by the mouth parts okay thorax i had already told so their body is divided into three distinct region head thorax and abdomen so now thorax also thorax also divided into three different parts prothorax mesothorax metathorax prothorax mesothorax and metathorax each thoracic segments bears a pair of walking legs which have the pair of walking legs we have we have already discussed it have the three different pairs so first is the prothoracic one pair mesothoracic one pair of legs and uh, metathoracic it also have the one pair legs the first pair of wings you know it generally arises from the uh, it arises from the mesothoracic not uh, prothoracic it generally arises from the mesothorax you will see so this generally arises from the mesothorax and leg leg generally arises from the prothorax leg generally arises from the prothorax but uh, their wings wings arises from the mesothorax and the second pair of the wings and second pair arises from the metathorax and first pair is you will see the first pair which is known as the tegmina and this is opaque and dark and leathery this is opaque and dark and leathery and hinds and hind wings when the rest when cockroach is not doing anything so that time these these wings that is front wings or anterior wings it hind it hind the wings uh, it hind the sorry it uh, hide it hide the hind wings okay it hide the hind wings when it is present in the rest position the hind wings are transparent if you will see so they are hind wings it is the transparent if you will compare between the anterior that means uh, mesothoracic wing and the metathoracic wing we will compare between the mesothoracic as well as metathoracic yeah or simply you can say tegmina so anterior that is known as the tegmina and another one that is hind wing okay so color firstly color so if you will see the first feature color one is the opaque Uh, tegmina that is the anterior it is the opaque and hind that is the transparent clear so this is the difference between uh, between the wings of the cockroach so here uh, the wings they have the flight so hind wing if you see the basic function of the hind wing so it is the transparent membranous and used for the flight purposes the abdomen in both males and female consist of the 10th segment Uh, their abdomen we already told so uh, first is the head second is the thorax and third is the abdomen so abdomen male or female either male or female both have that tenth segment okay in case of the females so here is explaining this sentence explaining in case of the females 
seventh seventh sternum so seventh sternum is the which shape so it have the boat shape boat shape like this it means you can say they have the boat shape structure so here uh, like this this is the boat shape structure so seventh sternum is the boat shaped and together with the eighth and ninth sternum together with the eighth and ninth sternum brood are genital pouch found whose anteriorly part contains female monopore which have the female monopore and spermatical pores as well as collateral glands which are the spermatical pores and collateral glands clear and the collateral glands is the main function to secretion of some substances which provide the rigidity to egg which provide the rigidity to egg okay in case of the males in case of the males they have the genital pouch okay genital pouch or chamber lies at the hind end of the abdomen you will see so in case of the male genital pouch and chamber lies at the hind end of the abdomen bounded dorsally by ninth and 10th targa ninth and 10th targa targa that is the dt dt that means dorsal dorsal has the targa ventrally ninth sternum that is the ventrally ninth sternum and these are the sclerite that means piece of the chitin it contains dorsal anus ventral male genital pore so dorsal they have the anus and ventrally ventrally they have the male genital pore so each of the ventrally male genital pore and gonapophysis which is present in case of the males and one very interesting feature i had already told so what is the interesting feature in case of the males if you will see in case of the males so these beers in case of the males a pair of short thread like anal style which are absent in the female so this is the characteristics by which you can distinguish between male and female so this is the characteristics by which you have ability to distinguish between male and female if you will see in case of the in both sexes 10th segments bear a pair of in case of the both sexes bears a pair of jointed filamentous structure called anal cerci so each of the jointed pair of the jointed uh, a pair of jointed filamentous structure called anal cerci these found in the both male or female either male or female both have the this structure so this is the morphology of the cockroach and uh, i think uh, you are also understanding and uh, thank you for your patience and cooperation and uh, like my uh, channel and subscribe my channel and uh, hit the bell icon for regular updates